serious? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do this. No <laughs> way. <laughs> I really don't know about this one. <laughs> What's up guys, Ben here from Huckberry and I am coming to you from absolutely stunning remote southern Utah and we are back on our 72 hour adventures where we put to the test our favorite travel tea, the 72 hour Merino tea from Proof. We have been to Iceland, we have been to the Swiss Alps, we have been to Tofino and this year we are in remote southern Utah with our guide, our friend, the master of maps, Sinway Xavier, some new friends in Camp Yoshi, Rashad and Ron Frazier, brothers, owners, operators of Camp Yoshi, an adventure experience company. Sinway has been working with Camp Yoshi over the last couple of years, helping them set routes. This is a good backup spot yeah. for like, because that one's really exposed. Yeah. And then this, you can park three or four Jeeps here pretty easy. Easy, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is perfect. Yeah. Wow. Some of the places we are taking these vehicles, some of the places Sinway is bringing us to are literally no longer on the maps that we all see on our phones these days. So these are roads that are undisclosed. You need a good vehicle, you need a good guide. We got both, let's go. My thoughts are to go south you know, try and find Camp Yoshi a, a place to take their clients a little deeper, yeah. you know? And we've got, you know, the next two, three days to do it. And, and I'm gonna be wearing a shirt the entire time, all three days, just one shirt. Let's go, yeah, let's so go. Smell it now. That's right, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. You're, you're gonna yeah. smell it in three days? <laughs> I won't judge you. It's terrible. 72 hours, Southern Utah, we're not gonna tell you everywhere we're going, right? No. We, that's part of the yep. respect Generally, to the land. Southern Utah. But, Geotag, please. Yeah, well, let's right. go. Perfect, let's do it. But the first rule of nicknames is you can't nickname yourself. So we all have to nickname each other. Because we've got Sinway leading, we're the uh, fresh prince of Moab. <laughs> yeah, well played, well played. <laughs> let's go, y'all. It's go time. What they leave pavement hit dirt. So you don't know what you're going to see, you're fine. But whatever it is, you, it doesn't matter at this point. Disconnect to reconnect. Yes, sir. Wow. Ben, you look a little tense to that edge. We're gonna see some ancient Pueblo archaeology where we're going. It's pretty cool. Um, all right, so we're gonna drop down here. And we hit that lower ledge and then we traverse yeah, across. Yeah. You. I'll, I'll, I'll stay up here in case you guys need anything. Good. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> not, I don't know if I'm going to do this. <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> Jesus, what the f***? I really don't know about this one. <laughs> no, I'm so, I'm ter like, we're not doing anything for the camera on this one. <laughs> this, is, this is a real fear of heights and I'm hey, not. You want to give me a spot? <laughs> right. With the camera. Get that camera out of my crotch. <laughs> Oh, this is... It's easy, it's super good. It's grippy. Yeah, and you got Danners on. It's to make you stick to the freaking road. How long has this been around? So, this is ancient Pueblo. And it's probably 700, 1200 years old. No way. Yeah. And there's a lot of different theories as to why they built where they built. As high as they were in the alcoves, some, 
you know, some theories are that it's, it's protective. That at the time there was a lot of upheaval and a lot of uh, scarcity of resources, so they hide their grain in here and you know put their homes in a very defensive right. spot. No one's sure as hell coming down to find it. <laughs> it's in a pretty insane spot. It's unbelievable. called cryptobiotic soil and what it is you get close and you can see it's a lichen and a moss and when you look at it in here um, it's what's well, hard yeah oh it's hard it's a it's a crust it's like rock it's super super fragile um, and the problem in the Colorado Plateau that we're having is with the grazing the four-wheel drives and and all this stuff when you break this down it doesn't hold the sand together like we want to save this as much as we can. We don't want to drive on it. If you have to do a 50 point turnaround, you do a 50 point turnaround. I know, right? Good <laughs> morning, camper. <laughs> how long did it? How long did it rain for? Uh, all, all night. night. All night. Yeah. Man, I <laughs> it was damp a little bit, but it was more the noise. It just took me forever to fall asleep. So basically today we're gonna head the west of the way south. And then I haven't done it in quite a while, so it's... Um. <laughs> okay! <laughs> it's really fine. Really it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, these highlights are 12 years old too. <laughs> yeah, they yeah, kind of are. They kind of are. And 24 hours in, we're down here at the south end in Bears Ears. And uh, how's your shirt smelling? <laughs> you guys tell me. <laughs> 24. I mean, I've done this a few times. Oh, I, can, yeah. I can predict. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be pretty well, good. Looks good on you, How am I doing? Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's do yeah. it. Let's go, day two. Let's do it. Yeah. Woo! You do a lot of your traveling by physical map. Well, Especially out here, right? Like, yeah, so my ethos has always been, you know, using a paper map because there's a lot of information in those old paper maps that the new programs, they, they just don't have. It makes your your brain work. Totally, you know, exactly. Your, your brain is, you're not in this, like, routine of, like, I mean, how many times have you driven to work and you go, can't remember the last 10 blocks. No, exactly. You yeah, know, exactly. you're, you're you're listening to music, your program, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, just yeah. like, oh, I know I make a right here, I make a left there, and then you try and remember what you did, right, and it's just right. like, I have no idea, I have zero recollection of that yeah, drive. Yeah, yeah. I think that whenever you can break routine, you, you instantly feel more alive. Airing down your tires is basically when you let off air from the actual tire itself and um, reducing the tire pressure. So it looks kind of flatter, but it also allows you to have more surface space for traction and for grip. Help you get out of jams, help you avoid jams. But the newer technology, as well with almost any car, but especially when you're on trails, confidence matters, good gear matters, and Jeeps were built for this. Oh my God. Whoa! 
Wow. Oh, wow. Shit. Holy yes. shit. Yeah. I mean, whoever flipped that bread, perfect. <laughs> perfect, Chris. Cooking is pretty much the whole plan of Camp Yoshi. A lot of folks come up with us, first time campers. A lot of questions, a lot of doubts. The food kind of helps us uh, demystify mm -hmm. getting outdoors. And then you just turn from the oven and you see all of this. Yeah. Like the food plus the place. So here's the other thing too. The further you're away from a proper kitchen, the more a good meal tastes like a miracle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the real wow factor. It's like, damn, I had the best steak ever on the side of a slot canyon. Just, you know, it makes it makes it taste even better. Right. You know, I think good food is all about the experience, right? Not just the meal itself. So, right, right. Um, look, we're all out here not for the views, but for the steak, right? So, yeah, nice. <laughs> We've been asked for years about going on trips like this. A lot of questions about safety, concerns about where we're going, how we're being treated, the folks we're running into. And we've always mm. had the best adventures, Yeah, lived our best lives, met some of the best people on these trips. So we thought rather than tell them, let's just show them. This way, as we finish our loop today, we're gonna head north and we're gonna get into a little slot canyon here in the White Canyon complex and keep pushing north and we'll see what's going on and if we can we'll we'll rip north through canyon lands orange cliffs cool. if not we'll kind of stay depending on you know what river crossings are looking like and whatnot yeah you know that's all we do it's part that's of what fun. we can do so how far are we total from moab then right now if we were to drive straight through on the highway mm -hmm. three and a half four hours got it got it Ooh, probably gonna take us ten <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right. All right. So. All right. And it was James Brown. Four hour drive, we're doing it in 10. <laughs> there we go. You can see how high the water gets from the, the marks. So you guys just kind of got a little taste of the, the Grand Loop, some detours here and there. I think that's an epic route. That's a perfect little three-day loop. I think they're gonna love it. I think the proximity of all the gems was just epic. Yeah, it doesn't stop. Like, yeah. it just keeps coming every turn, yeah. every hill. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? It just gets nuttier. Yeah. Nuttier. Yeah. Nuttier. Morale is high. Morale is yeah. high. Oh, cheers yeah. to that. Morale is high. Yeah. Cheers to high. that. Yeah. Ah, Thanks for letting us that. tag along. There you go. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to read the reviews. Officially, past 72 hours, I think, at this point. Because hey. we woke up at 6 on Monday to come out to that first sunrise. Right. It's 7 now, so I'm yeah. technically 73 hours. <laughs> Let's do the big reveal, boys. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh. Hey. Give her one last smell. <laughs> Let's see. That's Fresh. It smells right? like someone took That's a shower. No. <laughs> no, 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 man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Perfect. 